Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's uh, April 17, 2022. Uh, it's a Sunday, Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, everyone. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to be leaving Bullhead, Arizona here. And I'm going to go uh, over the bridge into Laughlin and cross over and take, uh, I believe it's uh, Nevada Highway 95 from northbound. And uh, I'll be passing by Searchlight and I'm going to be passing, I think it's still the world's largest uh, solar array. Uh, the first time I ever saw that, I thought it was a lake because all you see is like the solar arrays and it looks black like a lake. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll stop by there, uh, take some pictures and everything. I'm going to stop at the, they have a rest stop uh, on, uh, at the beginning of uh, where you turn off going northbound. And uh, they have a, a stop there. It's very nice uh, because people from California, from like Needles, California, they travel that route up to uh, Vegas. Uh, that's one of the ways that you can go now uh, I checked out my motorcycle I got my luggage packed up it was 60 degrees this morning and it must be close to 90 right now and it's close to 11 a.m. so uh, the more riding I get the more air I get flowing over myself and uh, that's it I put on my sunscreen my ears the back of my neck and everything my face for the the sun you don't want to get burned and uh, that's about it I checked out the oil on the motorcycle cleaned off the bug juice and uh, uh, that I must have cleaned off the bug juice about five times if you see it in the video there's nothing you can do about it especially in East Texas it, it gets a little messy there uh, I had a few that uh, hit my uh, leg so uh, like I said I'm gonna go to Vegas uh, I'm going to the um, the welcome to fabulous Vegas sign first and then I'm gonna travel up Las Vegas Boulevard up to uh, Harris and make a turn uh, uh, on the road and go in the back way to the uh, garage area they have uh, motorcycle parking, which is good to note. If you're a motorcyclist and you're and you're wondering where it is, it's the second level of the Harris parking garage, and they have it right off to the side. I'll, I'll show you where it is. Anyway, thanks for joining along, and uh, I'll take some uh, video pictures, blah blah blah, uh, along the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, follow along. Thank you. Okay, I'm going northbound on 95 here in Arizona, which I turn on to 163 going westbound. Now 163 takes you to 95 northbound in uh, Nevada, but I'm going to make a fast stop here. I want to take some pictures on the Nevada side of the Colorado River. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I uh, stopped by the river on uh, the way. I figured I'd come over here because it's so beautiful out here. And you can see people are out on uh, their personal watercraft. They have the boat launch here in uh, Laughlin. And it is beautiful. Now they have a beach over on that side. There's a lot of people in the water. Uh, usually river water is kind of on the cold side though. Uh, this is April, so uh, it's probably snow melt uh, coming off the rock, uh, Rockies, and uh, it's probably cold, the water. So, uh, I w uh, better them than me. I'm not going to be in there. Anyway, I'm uh, going to uh, pack up, and I'm going to uh, continue my journey uh, onward, and uh, that's uh, show you what it's all about huh the la, la vida loca right crazy life uh so uh, join along i'm glad that uh for people that don't go out 
you can live uh, vicariously through me uh, doing the riding and everything and see what's going on anyway thumbs up now I got back on to uh, 163 now there's a lot of national park land out here they have uh, the signs the signs are in brown and that indicates a park and a lot of its national park area a lot of people do four-wheel driving they bring their dirt bikes they have uh, their all-terrain vehicles and everything else that they bring out here so there's a lot to do in the desert here and uh, you can tell up in the distance uh, there's some mountains I'm heading in that direction that's where uh, uh, I'll be going up through and you'll see the twist and turns of the roadway when we do uh, get up there and I'll be cutting up uh, a lot of this video so uh, it doesn't get too boring now one of the things is the grade of the roads uh, you had to be careful and the twist and turns uh, you lose a little bit of your perception of distance when you're out in the desert so one of the things you have to be careful of is when you're going down grade and there's twist and turns especially on a motorcycle don't be going too fast because you'll end up uh, into the wall or worse uh, and if you run off of this thing at night uh, I doubt very much people will see you run off the road here so just uh, take your time and go in here now another thing that they have they have signs for uh, wildlife crossing they have uh, bighorn sheep and they have uh, donkeys here and they're wild donkeys and they do get on the roadway so just keep your eyes open like most animals they come out at uh, just before dawn and uh, you know just before the sunrise and they uh, they come out after the sunset so those are the dangerous times to be out on the road here and you can tell it even though this is desert and people don't think the desert is beautiful well it is and uh, you can see by the the uh, out uh, the the mountains here and the hills it's it's beautiful and you do go up quite a bit in elevation from uh, um, Laughlin and I'll be uh, doing some more here and I'll, I'll show you more now here I am coming up for the uh, turn for 95 going north and just uh, take it easy when you make the uh, turn here because you have the people that are already on 95 going north and some of them are doing above the speed limit believe it or not and I make the turn here it goes uh, smoothly and the rest station the rest stop excuse me is not that far ahead and what I'll do is I'll cut out some of this so uh, you'll see me pulling in the uh, rest stop now here's the rest stop up on the right here and I'm going to exit and pull in they have uh, tables they have facilities for the bathroom here and things like that usually it's never very crowded here and uh, I stayed for a while here and other motorcycles did pull in I was talking to uh, a person riding their motorcycle and everything and it's only about a hundred miles less than a hundred miles from Bullhead to uh, Las Vegas so I'm taking my leisure I'm here at the rest stop uh, I always uh, stop over here when I'm in uh, when I make to go this route and uh, if you go uh, south on 95 here it brings you to California you make the turn going east you go to Arizona you go north 
and you go to uh, Las Vegas and that's where I'm heading and uh, I always stop here I uh, you have to hydrate I uh, had some water and everything so uh, this is what I do I, I met a lot of people on this trip uh, a lot of people want to get out they're very friendly and everything I've been talking to other Harley riders so it's been a good time anyway let me get back on the road now I'm back on 95, I'm approaching the town of Searchlight. This is where the speed limit drops down tremendously, so you have to be careful uh, going through here. I'll be uh, stopping here. I, for some reason I like to stop in Searchlight, uh, Searchlight and look around. It's uh, pretty much a, a town that, I mean they have gambling here and things like that. But it's a very tiny town, and uh, I don't know if I could live out here in the desert, uh, uh, away from this many people. But uh, people do live here, and uh, it is uh, it is what it is. But <laughs> not for me. As you notice, the gas sign. This is when gas was very high. Five. Uh, dollars and 11 cents a gallon here and uh, well I went during a high price time now it's uh, the price has come down a little bit but uh, the, the fuel was one of the biggest uh, uh, portion of my budget uh, actually traveling uh, to Las Vegas and back to Texas uh, the, with the gas prices Okay, I stopped here because this is uh, the town of Searchlight and one of the things you may have noticed is the speed limit was 75 miles an hour. It drops down to 25 miles an hour. Now, the Nevada Highway Patrol does speed enforcement on this roadway and I already saw them pull over someone going southbound. Uh, they were uh, probably speeding and they have a big sign that says speed limit strictly enforced so you have to be very uh, aware uh, these small towns that drop down do the speed limit because this is where the enforcement is all right just a little uh, tip now I said I was gonna stop by the solar array and that's a little bit behind me, but I, it, it would have been no good. The, it was way too hazy over the solar array. Now I'm gonna take this uh, roadway here. This brings you through uh, Interstate 11, and uh, Interstate 11, I, I follow until I get to the uh, uh, loop road. There's a, a loop road. It's uh, it's Interstate 215, and I follow that west. And I'm gonna get off to uh, go visit the uh, Welcome to Fabulous uh, Las Vegas sign. And that's the first thing I want to do. But uh, unbeknownst to me, the crowds there were. Uh, unbelievable. It, um, the parking situation was pretty bad over there. They they need a bigger parking lot. That's that's what they do need. As you can tell by the sign, it's 215 West, and that's where I'm gonna go. And then I'll exit the the highway for the Las Vegas Boulevard going north. And uh, well, no, excuse me. I didn't do that. I went to uh, Interstate uh, 15 and then I got off the exit uh, going east. I forget the name of the street. Let me look it up. The exit off of 15 is West Russell Road and you go eastbound on that and that brings you over to Las Vegas Boulevard and then you make a right on Las Vegas Boulevard and that takes you to the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. 
and uh, pretty much I'm almost there and here I am uh, approach on uh, West Russell Road uh, excuse me no I'm on Las Vegas Boulevard I already made the turn and come into the parking lot now I did have to go around a few times in order to found, find parking but that's okay it's par for the course after leaving the uh, Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign, I proceeded back up onto uh, Interstate 15 and I'll take this off to my exit to go to Harris, which is uh, the Flamingo Road uh, exit, which I have to go eastbound on uh, Flamingo Road. Now that was the new stadium that I just passed on the left hand side. If you took notice that uh, that's uh, brand new. Now uh, here's my exit coming up and uh, you, you come up behind the Bellagio. Uh, Caesars is up this way also and when you get to the top of the, the ramp here you make a right hand turn onto Flamingo and then uh, you take it to a street called L-I-N-Q uh, Street where you make a left hand turn to get into the garage for Harris. Now I don't have video of that and I'll be ending this uh, video uh, very shortly. And there was an event going on and there was a lot of traffic that was holding up the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and uh, Flamingo here. I'm pretty much going to end the video right here. Uh, please click like, subscribe, share. I'm sure you don't want me to see me sitting in traffic and uh, that's about it. Have a good day everyone.